we're pitching the Mazda RX-8 against the Alfa Romeo GT V6. Apart from its weird doors, the Mazda's main talking point is its rotary engine. Only 1300 cc, but at dentist drill speeds of 8,200 revs, the whizzing wankle churns out 231 bhp in this top of the range model. And at 22 grand, it undercuts our other 2 plus 2 by 5,000 pounds. The Batoni-styled Alpha GT relies on a more conventional 3.2 V6, which develops 240 bhp. It's slightly heavier than the Mazda, meaning both cars have near-identical power-to-weight ratios, but which style-conscious coupe is quickest? Eeny, meeny, miny, Mazda. Rotary engines don't have much torque, but with few moving parts, they spin up really quickly. So you get a super smooth power delivery that's also linear. Now, rotary engines are small and they don't weigh very much. So you can get perfect 50-50 weight distribution. Coupled to a rear-wheel drive chassis, <laughs> you get a well-balanced car that likes to sling its tail out. Now, turning into that bend, the steering wheel is just so big. It makes you feel as if you are driving a lorry rather than a, you know, pretty potent little sports car. The gearbox could be crisper as well. It's slightly notchy going from second to third gears. Time for a quick one. The Mazda makes it round in 55.53 seconds. Time for the Alpha. The Alpha GT is a comparatively rare sight on British roads, which I find a surprise because it is a very practical coupe and it is very beautiful. Now, the car fits me fine, but taller drivers won't like the steering because it doesn't adjust for reach, so they will have to drive this car in sort of typical Italian legs akimbo styling. That engine is beautiful. It just purrs and purrs along, and the car feels a lot quicker than its 240 bhp would suggest. Well, let's see what it does against the clock. At the radar, the RX-8 is 0.2 of a second ahead. A lead the RX-8 maintains at the hairpin. And by the finish, the Mazda extends its lead to 0.38 seconds.